So how do we go from this to this really easily? Let's see. What's happening guys, Dan Debenham here. Today we're gonna to be looking at a brand new feature inside Photoshop 2021, uh, and that is the Replace Sky or Sky Replacement, um, which takes out all the hard work of cutting out people, uh, cutting out backgrounds and all the rest of it in order to be able to replace a sky in a photograph, which is often something that we actually do. Um, so let's quickly get into Photoshop now and have a look how it's done. Okay, so how do we get from this photo to the photo we actually want by replacing the sky and making it look a little bit more interesting. Well, it's super interesting. So we've loaded our photo into Photoshop and what we need to do now is go up to edit and then down to the new option which is sky replacement and we click sky replacement. It will automatically start to work as you can see it started to build in for this night sky that I've got and it's instantly changed it. Now from there what we can do is we can go into the skies the drop down boxes and we can see there are a lot of skies that are already pre-built into um, Photoshop itself, they're already there. So we can click on a different sky and it will automatically change it and you can see it's cutting out around her, um, it's cutting around her hair, around her arms, in the middle of the fingers etc etc, around all the edges of the, this, the uh, horizon etc. And if you want to alter things, you want to shift things about you can, um, so we can say let's make it a little bigger. So we can bring it up a little bit more or we can take it down and you can see the sky where it's trying to replace it. Um, and we can bring it in to a point where we want it and we think it looks best, it looks most realistic. We can also change the temperature of the sky so we can bring it up and be a bit warmer. As you can see it's moving to a bit warmer, it's going to be a bit bluer. So we want it to be a tiny bit warmer because of the ocean. So we want to match it in a little bit more to this business here. Um, and what we also want to do is we want to um, drop the brightness slightly just so that we can match it in with this here. And effectively, that is the long and short of how to replace the sky. There is one other feature you can do, which is basically, if you drop down into this box again, um, if you come down to there, you can see I've got, at the bottom, I've got as an option file with, with my own skies in. You basically just click on that to create a new group. So you click on that, name it what you want it to be. And then to add photos in, you just click the plus sign and you go to wherever you want to go to in order to be able to add those skies in. And they then stay there basically. Um, and effectively you can then call on those skies again to do whatever you want. So we can say let's have a night sky on this one. Um, and we can move that about so that it makes it look like it's entirely night. Um, and effectively it's just you being able to select your own sky. And in, in essence, that is basically the, the way of doing it now. It is effectively the way that Photoshop have just eased up your workflow. As you can see guys, this feature saves loads and loads and loads of time. It's absolutely brilliant. It's just gonna speed up the workflow no end and it's just gonna make things so much easier to do uh, when we're doctoring photos to just make them look that little bit more sharper or that little bit more play pleasing to the eye. So with that, I hope you did enjoy it. It was very, very quick, very, very simple, and very, very short look at a brand new feature. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.